Kansas State football, billed as the greatest turnaround in college football history, and rightfully so. In just six short seasons under revolutionary coach Bill Snyder, the Kansas State Wildcats had climbed from the depths of the college football world to their first ever bowl win and top 20 finish. But what would Kansas State do for an encore? That was the question the nation asked last summer after the Wildcats had capped off their finest season in school history with a 52-17 win over Wyoming in the Copper Bowl and a number 18 final ranking in the national polls. It was a valid question. K-State's 1994 squad would be missing 10 starters from the talented 93 unit. And even Bill Snyder said entering the season that every team in the Big 8 could improve in 1994, but that Kansas State may have the toughest task of all. Kansas State answered the question with another nine-win season, another bowl bid, another national ranking, and a trip to the nation's top 10. Bill Snyder and company again turned in one of the greatest coaching jobs ever in college football as the Wildcats stormed to a 9-2 regular season with their only setbacks coming in the final minutes to national champion Nebraska and number four ranked Colorado. The Wildcats continue to blaze a trail in the national scene to earn a number eight ranking in the final regular season poll, the highest ranking in school history. In fact, the Wildcats have been ranked in one or both polls for 25 of the last 27 weeks, a true sign that the Wildcats have arrived as a national power. CNN named Bill Snyder its National Coach of the Year after the Wildcats completed back-to-back nine-win season for the first time in school history. But even more impressive was the way in which Kansas State achieved those nine wins in 1994. Most notably, the Wildcats chalked up road wins at Oklahoma and Kansas for the first time in more than 20 years. Also won on the road at Nevada, Las Vegas, and Missouri. Overall, in 1994, Kansas State football answered an interrogative with a statement. K-State football and head coach Bill Snyder had certainly arrived, and it had no intention of leaving. Four seconds on the play clock. Snap from Jason Johnson to May. May looks right all the way. Now turns. Now he's going to gun it down the far boundary. Looking for Schweiger. Makes the catch at the five. Schweiger leaps. Touchdown, Tyson Schweiger. Kansas State. What an athletic catch. And then a dive into the end zone. The catch with an outstanding 30-yard pass play. K-State under Bill Snyder has featured some of the nation's best special teams plays. And Minnesota found out in a big way as Mike Lawrence came through to block this gopher punt. Snap back to Hubbard. He takes a long time to get it off, and the kick is blocked. The kick is blocked and out of bounds at the Minnesota 23-yard line. Now fueled with good field position, the Wildcats once again hit the May to Schweiger combination. Chad May uses an audible. Three seconds on the play clock. Takes the snap from Jason Johnson. Gophers are blitzing. Fader out to the end zone. They're looking for Schweiger. He has the catch. Touchdown! Tyson Schweiger! It's a touchdown play of 20 yards. It was just the fade route. This time, May did not overthrow his roommate. Another touchdown for Tyson Schweiger, his fourth of the season. Two backs now in the formation, a pro I set. Play fake by May, wants to gun it long, looking for Lockett for the end zone, the far side. Lockett makes a catch. Touchdown, Kansas State! On the deep route on the outside, Kevin Lockett holds it in from Chad May. The Cats are up by three touchdowns. Three wide receiver offense. Ron Brown on the slot left. Lone back J.J. Smith. He gets his number called again. Tries the left side. Breaks a tackle. 30, 20-yard line. 15, 10, 5. J.J. Smith. Touchdown, Kansas State. 29-yard run. Breaking three tackles along the left side. Third and eight for the Rebels. Football at their own 33. Back to throw Davis. Throws over the middle. Pass is broken up. Mario Smith with a jarring hit on the intended receiver, Kofi Banks, to separate him from the football. A big-time, big-eight hit by Mario Smith.